John here. It's uh, Monday, 20th April 2015. I'm just calling uh, my private investigator, Graham Allen, and see um, if he's there. I'm trying to get him to catch up with me on 61 Cook Street. Uh, right, here goes. Hope so. Again. Here goes again. Don't seem to be there. Here I'll leave a message. Hope so. Here goes. Hi, you've reached Alice Investigations. I'm sorry we can't take your call right now, but please leave your name and a number and a brief message after the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as we are able. Thank you. Hi, John here, John Wanua. Um, just let Graham know. <clears throat> that I'll be going in the police tomorrow again for the third, for the fourth time uh, to um, find why uh, there's been no notices from from them about 61 Cook Street and no complaint and uh, it appears that uh, the police have a problem and uh, I wanted to clear it so that um, um, Graham can come on afterwards and pick up from there. All I want to do is get into the office again and uh, seize the office and then uh, then I'll leave it to Graham after that. I had to get gone to, to England because I'm running out of time. The police have holed me up for at least uh, 26 days now uh, and they're all going from the office and when, when, um, uh, when I need them and they've changed them all around and don't seem to be fixing the problem. So anyway, let him know <coughs> that I'm going to see uh, see somebody else now because uh, Dennis uh, Col Colberwell, he's the um, um, sergeant of impoundments there. He's gone away on his annual holiday. The last time it was Tony Geldenhuis went away on his holiday, or not holiday, actually two weeks away. And now I've, I've got another policeman uh, to start all over again. And they just seem to be making me go around in circles. And the problem is still there. Uh, so uh, I'll let Graham know. I just needed to know whether he's going to pick up after me or not. Uh, because I've got to get off to England straight away after that. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, bye for now. <coughs> so there, there we go. I just left a message again for Graham. And I don't know why uh, the police are... Um, uh, running me around in circles. So I think a lot of people have come to realise that now, that there's something drastically wrong in the police station here in Auckland. Um, and they do have a problem, uh, a, a major problem, because it's, it's to do with admiralty law, and no one there has got jurisdiction. None, none of anybody in Auckland has got jurisdiction in that area of expertise where traditional matters do, do, do um, come into play here of who's who, and no one wants to entertain that. Uh, so um, I'm left uh, going back to the station tomorrow. I was going back today, uh, but I uh, decided to do the crowdfunding to get funding to get to England. So it's put me through a lot of trouble to rearrange all my plans for the Moai King William Party, which is going to save this country and Britain. And these people are so ignorant they don't realise what's happening here uh, in England and here and the way politics are is going to the pack because it's been designed that way. 
So, uh, people, I'm just trying all my hardest to make them accountable, the police accountable, those landowners accountable on 1 bar 61 Cook Street, and the lawyers who are the troublemakers. They're the lawyers who are the troublemakers that I want the police. As my complaint, I'm just putting another complaint in now to the New Zealand uh, Police Conduct Association. Again, I've shortened it down so that they won't throw it off again. It was there, but they took it off, you see. It's become a hard basket one to, for them to handle. But they're going to have to let me go back onto that land block and um, uh, recall what Tim, uh, Sergeant Tim Duffy had told me he trespassed me from going onto that property. But that's only, that's hearsay. That's not, not in writing. I don't see any warrant in writing. I don't see anything in writing about what he did and about the, what the, the, he did to cover up. That fraud in that land is a cover-up. And the land uh, convincing lawyers are going in real trouble now in the admiralty law here in Britain. So sooner or later it's going to snap. But I'm adding the build-up of the landowners too and the people on that block of uh, land uh, uh, that interfered and tampered with my contract, the defaulted contract with the landowners. So I'm just updating you people this week on where I am, having only uh, <coughs> uh, 11, uh, 18 days left to go to, to England uh, to put our party and set it up to rescue this country and the Pacific Islands and the world for that matter with King William's flag. Those people are so, so, so lost in n not knowing what the devil's up to. And these people here, it's part of the problem of, uh, of uh, fraud and corruption in the police. And I, I, it's plain to see now, you can see quite plainly that there is something wrong when we got one police telling me to go, it's okay, go, don't break the law, and then the other police breaking the law and asking me to leave. He's a third party now, and that Debbie girl, she's a third party, and the other guy that got in my road and started opening his mouth in front of me, and I said, no, you're not the landowner. You've got nothing, no, nothing in this contract. Now you're in the contract, you see. So those are uh, a strong talk from a king uh, point of view, a king's uh, uh, court point of view of law, point of law. Okay, so that's, uh, that's what I'm saying today, uh, that I'll just focus on our website uh, and put the tag pay on uh, today, get a mobile phone that suits tag pay and the apps, to get that going because I'm sure people want to deposit money and I've, I've just got uh, too much on my hands. Uh, Jamie, uh, my, my p uh, business partner Jamie is supposed to be here on Saturday but she's still too tied up uh, with the family issues and so she'll be up on Thursday now, uh, so you're saying, and from then on we'll be, uh, we'll be screaming ahead uh, with this project and everything should be in place. When she gets here, I hope to have the police sorted. And they must let me go back on that land block and carry on doing a debt collector's job. And because I'm with Graham Ellett, I've just left a message with him on his phone. He's, he's already behind what I'm doing uh, with the lawyer here, Utah Choi, because uh, they're out of pocket to me. And they're going to do their best to perform. After I go onto that block, once I seize the the, the office, I've seized the land already without going into the office. I've been around, 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 around without incident since the 12th to the 30th. I've been going around that block inside filming it, okay, without anybody complaining about me being there. It was only when I went into the office that's when it all kicked up a stink because that was designed by the police by the landowners and by the conveyancing lawyers to try and get away with it by making a complaint, something that would get the lawyers off the hook. No, it's got them worse now. It's got them worse now because they have, they have designed this, I can tell by the way they talk and the policemen talk, that they've been talking to each other to hatch a plan to break the law. They have broken the law. Again, the, the, the land conveyancing lawyer has broken the law of changing the titles and transferring the land illegally and an illegal mortgage. And that's pulled the bank in, banks in, pulled the real estate companies in, pulled the government in, it's pulled everybody into this 
defaulted contract on that land block. So for me, it's just a matter of time before they all go bankrupt because of that land title, and there's nothing they can do about it because it's a contract. It is a defaulted contract, which means the landowners have no contest against a traditional, original, native land title that was put together by the British UK government, okay, the Crown of England, against the Lynn's, uh New Zealand Crown assumed sovereignty uh, of New South Wales, Australia titles. Those titles are only mortgage instruments. They are not the original deeds of title and native title. So that's what I'm going on about. The police have, uh, have interfered with my contract between me and the landowners. That's private. You cannot come into a contract between two private people and they couldn't ring the lawyers up, uh, ring the police up because it brought them into there to do their dirty work. Okay? They didn't use the lawyer to confront me. It's because the lawyers are in issues with me themselves, cannot answer. The affidavits are put out there. Okay? They cannot answer in public. So all my things are in public. And that's enough to say that it, they've been had enough warning of what the consequences are of them defaulting. What I'm saying is true is true. I'm saying my titles are true and you must leave the land and these buildings. That's what I'm going in tomorrow uh, to do because uh, a friend of mine switched my head off today and made it go and do some more crowdfundings and uh, it blew my mind right off the track and so I put my day right out to setting up for the police. So I hope nobody else comes along and, um, and goes across me uh, while I'm working uh, with, uh, with, the, um, with the police. I'll try tomorrow and hope nobody comes and interferes with my day because there's a lot of work just for me to do, um, let alone la raise the funds. Uh, to go to England. Uh, but, however, I've, I've, I've put another site there, a uh, uh, crowdfunding site, um, um, and, and, and that got stuck with PayPal. I don't like PayPal. It's a horrible um, company. I only like TakePay because it's quick and no problem. No, none of this asking lots of questions. And before long, they said no. And so I just touched it all off after all that. Uh, so, I mean, that's... Uh, that's plan B was to raise the funds. That's what I've been trying to do for a long time uh, and telling Chris Taylor at uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers. He said, well, when you get an investor, come to us. So I've still been trying to raise the funds as the investor and uh, before long I've, I've learned a lot how to do their job and so I, I wouldn't need anybody to, to do everything. I would do it myself and teach Jamie how to do it. Uh, so that's uh, what we're, we've got to today uh, in my day. Uh, to uh, just uh, update this week uh, with my plans to go in to see the police tomorrow. I'm telling you this because the police are watching everything I do and, and they, 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 they can't move beyond what has happened. This is what has happened with the police. They should have did their homework before they took the complaint on to find what was the complaint. I don't know what the complaint is. I don't know what they're complaining about. And I haven't got nothing in writing. I haven't got a warrant in writing, which is, by the law, that's what's supposed to happen. There's supposed to be a, 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 an arrest warrant from the landowner. So I've already given them a arrest warrant, a wa arrest warrant and a, uh, a trespass notice on that land. And they're already breaking that. They're already breaking that. I went in there with legitimate reason with the title, with the trespass notice in place, and their ignorance is going to cost them. It's still costing them. They're already bankrupt anyway because I've got the bill right up from the 12th to today. I'm updating all the bill on the police. The police numbers have increased now because of their tampering with my private contract, my private defaulted contract with those landowners. And now the lawyers are going to hook it as well. Right? They're going to hook it up. I don't know which one because they've got a few lawyers acting for them. They have a few lawyers in their 21 businesses 
acting for their, their um, uh, uh, confirmation of a company. So many companies with this bit and that bit and that bit, but when it lands up, it's all fraud. If this is fraud, like I'm saying it is, it's a fraud, and the whole lot is a fraud, and everything attached to the Queen is a fraud. Okay, that's what I'm saying. The Queen is the fraud in the beginning that corrupted the King's title, okay, and the King's uh, uh, admiralty. Okay, that's what I'm making a point here of why, why the police stepped in. The police should have researched what the complaint was. If it was, if, if Tim Duffy only knew it was an Admiralty Maritime Law case, he would never go near it, as what da uh, 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 Davies did, uh, the, the Detective Davy uh, in the Central Police Station. Uh, he avoided going near it, because he's an ex, uh, he's a detective there, but he's an ex-lawyer. Okay, they, they're aware of it. And um, also, um, um, Dennis Coverwell went on his annual leave. And so I'm sure he's worried about that either. Uh, and, and Tony Geldenhuis, the station manager, is worried about what they're hiding from me. They haven't told me yet. My complaint hasn't been answered yet uh, since I put it in. No answer. They just scrubbed it off. The, uh, the website where everybody else is there but mine's got scrubbed off so I'm going to put it back on again with a video uh, I'll make a little short video for it just to make a point of this is what I want to do <coughs> I want the policeman who I'm supposed to see with Dan, uh, Dan Forrester Forrest was go going to organise his um, uh, Dennis uh, Col Colwell's office boy uh, of his man, and he was going to arrange somebody else to see me. I'm still waiting for the phone call. Right? I'm always waiting for phone calls that never come. Right? And I write letters that never get replied to. See? It's just a way that they're just avoiding the truth of the matter. All I want to do is this. Say to that policeman, look, Tim Duffy made a serious mistake of stopping me going on the land block. He had no right, no legal right in Admiralty law to step in front of me knowing less than what I know and less than what a convincing Admiralty lawyer, court-martial lawyer knows. You had to be a lawyer to stop me. You couldn't stop me like a policeman because it's going to come up against him. That's why Tony Gellin's eyes says it's a civil matter. No, 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 it's a police matter. The whole lot of the police is liable because one of your lot has got the same, same pattern of behaviour, of, of, of corrupted behaviour, that we're not gonna, I'm, not, I'm not going in that court because the judge can't do it. He cannot do it because I've got more information than he has. And I'm not sitting around wasting time because the Admiralty Court in London is a two-hour case. All I have to do is say yes or no. I'm right, you're wrong and see who, who jumps. And I'll libel the, the judge before I even go in the court. I'll write to him and say, you better have your facts right to, to talk to me, because I'm coming in there as a king's bench judge. Okay? I can talk like that, because that's what I'm talking like. And they, if their information can't stack up to what I've got, then they lose. And then the police is this. Tim Duffy answered a complaint. I don't know what the complaint was about me stealing the place or me uh, holding up a heist or me being a public nuisance or me disturbing the peace or what. That's got nothing to do with a private contract. Those people shouldn't be there. They're, they're being trespassed. They shouldn't be in that office. That's what I went around looking around for them because I didn't know who the property manager was. So I went through a, a few people around in the offices. And they must have got whiff on it and they said, oh, this guy's saying he's the owner. Yes, I am the owner. I'm one of the chiefs, the owners of this land that, we're, we're, that fraud is in. We're there to root the fraud out and throw them out, off the place. Okay, that's all I went there for. And I wanted to go back there and tell the policeman who I'm going to talk to, look, it's getting worse because 
I've got nothing in writing from your people. I've got nothing in writing from Tim Duffy. He's wrong to have done that without checking the law before jumping into trouble with the law. He broke the admiralty law of mortgages on land and conveyancing. He broke that law because he doesn't know anything about that law. I can tell you that much now because he can't speak. In a court, he won't win because the judge said, where's your information? Because here's all the information for me. Here's all the things. He's, he's got all his papers in place. He, told, he warned those people. He warned you, please, stay out of the way. Do not answer the court. And what did you do? You answered the court. But why? Because you didn't know. You didn't check before you went into that highly charged site. Okay, so that's that's why I'm going there for to clear that matter so that it can get me onto the land block because they're all liable. Everyone who has come in my way before I go to England to go and put the flag up over there to come back here and clean them out has got in my road. Has got in my road. Okay. Well, well, that's well, we'll leave it at that and make this uh, uh, this long, and I'll make I'll finish off the uh, complaint and make a little video. And you can get to see that tonight if I'm not going to get too tired. Okay, so um, to my Jamie down there, hurry up because I need a hand and get on with it. Time's going by. Okay, bye. See ya. Be nice.